this is working. Check this out. Hopefully it works. Hi guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait a couple more minutes because I am early. I wanted to make sure everything was set up properly. And I am really nervous. I should brush my hair. <laughs> all right. Hey, Jess. Oh, my God. I have been anxious all afternoon. Thanks for coming on. I'm really happy you're here. Give me tips if you have any. <laughs> so, hey, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica Yuk, the Dancing Avon Lady. Hi, Kat. Oh, hey, Kelly. <laughs> Oh my god, some people were on. I promise you I will make a fool of myself tonight. It's going to be epic. It's going to be fun. And we're just gonna go wing it and have a good time, I think. <laughs> so um, for those who are just joining us, um, we are doing a live stream tonight with um, a complete noob. I've never dyed my own hair before. I've only touched, I've, I dyed my hair once eons ago. Um, and I went to salon for that. It did not turn out well. It looked like my hair was burnt. And then I dyed my mom's hair last summer using the Salon de Couleur. Oh, no, which one did I use? I don't remember what I used. I used the Chi one. Was it the Chi one? I don't remember, guys. Anyways, I used one from Avon that we got. And uh, it turned out okay. So I have a little teeny tiny bit experience, but nothing on my own head. So tonight, guess what we're doing? We're dyeing my hair for the first time with Arctic Fox in the color virgin pink. <sighs> Don't know. <laughs> you know what my daughter said? She never, she's so sweet. She's like, because she knows she, that I'm dying my hair tonight. And she's like, but right before she went to bed, because I just tucked her in, she's like, mommy, will I know that you're my mommy tomorrow? Will I recognize you? I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, yes, child, you will. Because guys, I'm, I'm not going to bleach my hair. Oh, you ordered the tin loop. Yay! Awesome. That's really exciting. I can't wait to see it. Are you going to do uh, are you going to do as soon as you get your order in? I can't wait to see. Um, but yes, I am not pre-lightening my hair with a bleach or a bleach kit for a couple of reasons. One is I would have absolutely no idea what I'm doing and I would probably end up burning my hair off. Um, and number two is because I was just going through the whole hair loss issue that I had after having my son. After I stopped breastfeeding, I started really noticing I was losing my hair and I didn't want to stress out my hair anymore by adding bleach. I know that this has a built-in conditioner, so I've been reading reviews, I've been watching a lot of tutorials because they're saying that this actually has, uh, it, like I said, it has a conditioner, but it makes your hair feel super duper soft. So I'm like, okay, okay, so it should be pretty good. It also doesn't have like a bunch of things that it, 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 it that could damage your hair. So I figured, okay, this would probably be a pretty good stepping stone into it. Um, and the other thing is Hedgy from Hedgelish, she's a really great girlfriend of mine, uh, said that she would smack me. Well, she actually said spank me um, if I ever bleached my hair. So I'm not bleaching my hair tonight. Uh, maybe in the future, we'll see. I mean, if I ever want to just do my ends a little bit, it might be kind of fun to do. But okay, so the goal is, and I don't know if you guys checked out my stories on Facebook or Instagram, but I got a setup going on here, guys. I'm going to tour you my setup. Is that even the right way of saying it? Tour you my setup? I think so. Um, and anybody who's just joining us right now, leave a hi, leave a hey. Welcome to tonight's Friday night, 9, 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time live stream. Uh, tonight, we are dyeing my hair. Complete noob dyeing hair. Ch just trying to see what the Arctic Fox would also look like on dark hair. I am totally, totally, totally just uh, avoiding doing it right now. That's why I'm talking so much. But I always talk a lot. So Kat, you're not going to dye your hair. Uh, you're not going to bleach your hair either? Yeah, that's cool. But you have lighter hair too. All right, so I'm going to show you guys my setup. I never show you people my setup because it's a disaster. But it's actually kind of funny. So I have my back ring light on for a little bit more backlighting right now. So this is like a really tall eight foot ring light that I bought a while ago. Um, you're currently... Hi, Lisa! Yay! Welcome to tonight's live stream. The main event has not started yet. That is going to be happening very soon. Just show you guys my setup. I have you guys on the uh, tripod that Avon gave me with the content creator program. I have two more lights up going on right there. There's my makeup station going on. I know I'm procrastinating. I'm processing. <laughs> and then check this out. So yes, yesterday, if you guys saw my video of me unboxing my Amazon 
hair dye tool kit thingy. It was like the longest thing in the world. What's the name of it? It is the, oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah. I don't know what happened yet. Where'd it go? Oh no. Uh, here. It's called the Hair Dye Color Set 20 Piece DIY Beauty Salon Toolkit Brush Comb Hair Dye Tray Dye Brush Ear Cover Glove for DIY Salon Hair Dye. So that's what it is. And, um, but anyways, so if you saw me unbox it, the, there's this bib thing that I'm not going to use for my, for as a bib. I used it to cover my desk. So I have it covering my desk here. I have a hairbrush here just to double check and make sure I don't have any knots. I have the Arctic Fox here. And then I also have here, um, they gave me some black gloves. I have um, some bowls, but I only really need to do one. Oh, perfect. The back of it. Oh, I'm not doing my whole head. That's the other thing, guys. But thank you. That would be a really great um, suggestion if I was doing my whole head. I'm not going to do my whole head this time around because I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, here's some ear covers. Thanks, Pam. Yes, I am super ready, but I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Have these brushes. These brushes, they feel really cheap, but mind you, this toolkit was also very, very cheap. I don't know. Are they supposed to be really stiff? Anybody who dyes their hair normally? I thought they would be a little bit softer, but it feels really stiff and it has a fuzz on it. Ugh. Probably my own doing. Um, I found some petroleum jelly. Yes, I used this for my son's butt <laughs> or leftover from that. Um, and then I don't have a hair, uh, what's it called? A shower cap, but I got some tin foil. So I'm gonna be tin foiling my head tonight too. Well, it's actually aluminum foil because apparently tin foil and aluminum foil are different things. Um, I also have some duckbill clamps going on here. So we're set and we're ready to go, I think. We'll find out. Um, I also have, oh, I didn't show you my floor. I have my entire floor covered with towels and plastics because <laughs> I'm a slob. I am an absolute slob. And I had really cute leggings on earlier, but I was like, nope, I'm going to put on my really old maternity pants because... I'm worried I'm going to spill it on my lap too. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to ruin my leggings. So am I trying to get HBO? Oh, with a <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Do you suggest it? <laughs> Anyways, I just want to show you guys my setup. So it's, it's, it's pretty epic. Nelson walked in and was like, all right. <laughs> okay. So first off, Plant part one is I have to decide where I'm going to do the strip. So I'm thinking that I'm going to do a little strip at the front here, probably this section. I had a vision while doing dinner that, well, if this turns out really vibrant, my problem is I still have black sideburns. <laughs> so should I do my sideburns too? <laughs> so, I don't know. But yeah, we're going to do this part. I don't know if I want to do these sideburns. Um, because then I'll stain this whole area pink and it's going to look like I have a weird rash. So we're going to do this part here, this part here, right? And then I was thinking underneath, I'd do like two little strips. So I'll do like a strip here and like maybe a little strip here. What y'all think? Good idea? Let me know. So first thing I was looking, do the bottom, bottom half of the hair. I don't know about that either because that's a lot of commitment and I don't know how to beauty unlimited and I don't know just do it okay so I, <laughs> I don't know how to make it not look like a line straight across I might need a little bit more practice maybe I'll practice on Ginevra if she lets me do it on her um but I was reading all the instructions so Arctic Fox website actually has instructions for us how to do it first thing is they said do the strips all right I'll do the strips do the bottom well the thing is i know that is not going to show up very much on um in my hair because i'm not pre-lightening it so i think that if it's just the bottom here i'll never notice it ever so i think that if i just do a little tiny bit right here at least when it hits the sun i'll be like ooh. plus all the moms at school pick up are expecting me to have pink hair on monday when i go pick up Jennifer from school so they have to be able to see it so I think, I'm, I think I'm gonna do the strip guy, you guys. So I'm gonna do this, this, and then just two at the back, just to see what it looks like. Call Nelson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have too much faith in Nelson. <laughs> Nelson already said no. But I offered to dye his hair pink. Bottom of the front of the bit, the bottom into the front of the bangs. All right, Kelly, one day you're just gonna have to do my hair for me. How's that? We live close enough together. I can actually drive to you. <laughs> okay. Let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so 
Arctic Fox completely sealed. Have not opened it up yet. Uh, this has no peroxide, no ammonia, no ethyl uh, ethyl alcohol, and no PPD. Have no idea what PD, PPD is, but it, that's what it says. Um, this is professional quality, vibrant colors. This is a vegan formula, not tested on animals. It has tons of shades. I think it has like eight or ten different shades, guys. And I did like a um, filter video on it and I think I really like the pink somebody else said that they really liked the red on me but anyways we're going with the pink because when I looked at it on medium dark hair it looked like sorry medium brown hair it kind of gave it like a purpley sheen and that's what I'm going for so hmm, only time without plus it's supposed to wash out in about four to six weeks according to another person that sent me a DM so let's just find out. Okay, I don't even know if I'm supposed to shake it. Guys, if I'm doing anything wrong, let me know or don't and just let me just <laughs> learn from my own mistakes. So we're going to open this up first. I heard this stuff smells amazeballs. And so it's sealed here. Right. I will do my very best not to throw it. Oh my gosh, it is so bright. Throw out any profanities during this video. <laughs> Okay, fine. Yes, I admit it. Ah, oh, I am slightly chicken about this. I'm going to stain my nails. Hey, that should be a really pretty lipstick color. Oh, don't get this in your eyes, guys. So you don't do this on your eyebrows. Don't do this on your eyelashes because it is not meant for that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. <laughs> gloves. Yes, I have the gloves. Um, okay. Look at that. Look how bright that is okay so i'm going to throw this piece out i even have a plastic bag ready to throw out all of my stuff put gloves on all right no mistakes just lessons um typically i'd say yes to that jess but i don't know this time around i actually probably will make some mistakes okay so i'm gonna put the gloves on you know i should have cut my nails i'm gonna poke through these gloves because these gloves are like super 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 thin oh beep Oh, beep, oh, beep. That is me filtering out my own profanity right now because I am freaking out. Okay. Um, they said that also. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. Oh, Jess, and congratulations. I heard you're an auntie. Congrats. Okay. So let's take a sniff, a sniff test of this first. Oh. It's very sweet. It smells like candy. I don't know if I'm supposed to be smelling the fumes, guys. I'm, if I get a little bit of a buzz, I'll also let you know. I'm sweating profusely because I'm so nervous. Oh, thank God. Oops. I did use this. Don't forget the jelly. Yeah, I'm not going to put on my hair quite yet. I'm just going to do a sniff test first, and then I will, I will experience it all. But thank you for that. Okay, so it smells, you know what it smells like? It smells like Cherry Jolly Ranchers. Anyone ever had that before? And it is super vibrant, super bright, and that's gonna go on my head. Okie dokie, so hair is already brushed, but I'm gonna brush it one more time. There we go. And, um, okay. So, you know what, I'm gonna brush my hair first without the gloves, because my hands are sweating even more in the gloves, and I can't handle that. I'm also, I'm trying not to rush this, because a lot of times when I'm doing these live videos, I wanna keep the speed going, because I don't want to bore you guys. But I think I might have to slow down a smidge tonight, guys, so that I don't, like, mess up royally. Yeah, Jolly Ranchers, that's what it smells like. Okay, so what do you guys think about that much? Should I just do that much or should I go deeper? Like so, like that? Is that too deep? Wow, do I have a bald spot? I do have a bald spot there. Ha <laughs> the things you learn! I have a very pale scalp. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's duck bill this section first. Dum, 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 dum. Deeper? No. And you really think I really think I should go deeper? That's already a pretty deep section, no? That's a lot of pink. Like this part and not this part? So I should just do that. Okay, let's try that then. Because you know what? I can always dye it a little bit more later if I get the hang of it and then I do this okay how's that looking we'll say that looks pretty good sure why not okay so that is gone okay so I'm going to look ridiculous okay 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 and then for the bottom strands I got this Urgh! 
I need to create like one of those meme thingies. Um, I'm just gonna do, what are we thinking here? Like that piece? I feel like the this is gonna be the hardest part here. Yeah, let's just do that. That's being too dark, too thick. Yeah, let's just do that. That, and then on this side. And guys, I hope you guys brought snacks because we might be here a while. Nelson's like, I anticipate this is going to take you a couple of hours. I hope not, but it just might. Okay, thanks, Lisa. Really appreciate the oh, <laughs> all of your input. Okay, so I have this. I'm going to duckbill. So this is called duckbill. I don't even know. I'm making things up, guys. Just full disclosure. I am totally making words up at this moment in time. You guys know? Okay, check out this sexy mess at the back of my head. This is a look. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, ah. Okay, now I need to petroleum jelly my face. <laughs> okay, so should I leave the sideburns alone? I feel like I should leave the sideburns alone. Yes, totally. All right. Ah, memories. Nathan's still in diapers, but we don't use petroleum jelly on his butt anymore. We use something else. Okay, so I'm supposed to, what? Like right around the scalp line? Oh my goodness. Watch, I'm gonna like break out in pimples. I feel like I should just, I should petroleum jelly my entire face because I feel like, no, the first section. Okay, so no sideburns, no sideburns. We are at this consensus of not doing, of leaving the sideburns alone, leave the burns alone. Okay. Okay. Scala, oh, my ears. Okay, good to know. Ears, Lisa, you are my coach in this. This feels really awkward. <laughs> you guys use, do you guys know like ASMR? Um, oh my God, this feels so, so interesting. So ASMR, I've watched a couple of them because I was really into it for a while. And, um, <laughs> and this is what it feels like, like that ear massage, like <laughs> that's what it feels like at this moment in time. Oh my God, it's been 17 minutes and I haven't even touched my hair yet, guys. I love you guys for staying on and you guys are awesome for being my cheer squad. I, no, I'm not gonna, no, I'm gonna take off my wedding ring. Ow. Slather on, yash. Slather it on, ye, okay. <laughs> so do I need more than what I just put on? Miranda, hello, thanks for coming on. Ladies, this is Miranda. She has a wonderful blog. Miranda, drop your blog in the comment section. She has a great blog. She is um, a, an ambassador for, um, for belief as well. And we go way, way, way back uh, to when I used to have the studio and I used to be her Avon lady. Yeah. Okay, so. I think I've slathered on a lot of petroleum jelly. I am so sweaty right now, guys. The lights combined with my stress. It's like getting a really good workout, but I don't think I'm gonna like lose anything except for like, as we say in Chinese, pie. Okay, so that's done. So I've already washed my hair. I brushed my hair out. Let's stick on the gloves. All right, so anyways, has anybody on tonight used, um, have you used the Arctic Fox before? Out of curiosity. Yes, no, maybe so. Wusa! Total wusa! Trying to breathe, trying to breathe. Okay, so here we go. It's ready. It's on. It's going to. <laughs> what did Nathaniel think in the morning? Okay, I'm worried it's gonna pop. Oh, good. All right, I don't even know how much. I need to put on. So let's start off with beep, beep. Oh my God, it's so bright. Take a shot first. Yeah, no, I'm a really, really lightweight when it comes to drinking. I, one time, you know what? I'll tell you all of my story about my drinking and how I completely just um, embarrassed my husband at his very first work party later on while we wait. Do it together. Yes, I actually, I've never had tequila before. All right, so I think I'm supposed to start here and I work my way down. Oh, 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 I need aluminum foil. Cause then I saw somebody use aluminum foil. 
I have a drink of tea because I can't, I drank a lot of coffee beforehand. So I saw them use aluminum foil. So I'm gonna get a couple of slabs of those out. Two. <laughs> Three. Out of all things that I choose to do live, why am I choosing this to do this live? I have no idea. Sometimes I make really interesting choices in life and these are one of them. All right, guys, just get to the chase, Jess. We're gonna do it. Here we go. This is for a thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna load it like the brush. Am I brave? Am I brave or am I foolish? I didn't bleach first. Yeah, no, it's not gonna be neon bright pink. No, I know. Um, part of the thing is I wanted to see how it's going to lay on um, like darker hair. And I just, I really, I wasn't comfortable with the idea of, of, of bleaching my hair at this moment in time. All right, is that enough product? For the first time, we're, we're gonna think yes. I don't know, you guys kind of got quiet. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I wanna cry. I, oh my, it feels too big. That's what she said. Okay. Oh my God, keep this right PG. I have younger kids on here too. Okay, all right, that section, yes? Okay, I go right into my, oh, we're committing. We are committing. We are, I'm committed. I am so committed, okay. <laughs> true true i can always it'll wash out eventually because this is semi-permanent color uh, i was talking to one of my friends did i go right into the scalp yeah sure um okay so i was talking to one of my friends and she actually uses arctic fox uh she goes to the salon to get her hair done every once a year and then she uses arctic fox's made it sorry my nose is super itchy right now it's the stress it's the stress okay okay just keep painting I trust you guys. I'm going to keep painting. All right. Here I go. Here I go. Oh my God. Is this enough product? I don't know if it is. I feel like I need to massage it in. And like, oh, these little baby hairs. Paint it. Okay. Oh, I just painted. I just totally painted my forehead. I don't think I have enough stuff in my bowl. Okay. We're just going. I'm just going for it. All right. Go, totally going. By the way, I, I, oh, it's not recognizing. I can't read that last comment, guys. I'm sorry. Because the latex gloss is not working for my, on my phone. Uh, I'm missing, I know. You need to PM me what branch you're at now so that I can come see you. If you're still, are you still working at the bank? But anyways, PM me. Send me a PM and I'll come find you. I'll find you. I did, I did. I put some Vaseline on my forehead. Um, uh, bum bum Okay. I feel like I should almost have like lifted this up a little bit to really get in there. Eh. Do I have to paint the underside too, guys? Oh my God, I'm just totally, if any professional hairdresser ever watches this video, which I highly doubt, uh, <laughs> they're gonna just shake their head at me and I'm gonna end up on one of those reaction videos that says, what not to do, right? And that's okay. If it's like Brad Mondo, if that's his name, because he's like amazing, that would still be really cool. Paint the underside. Okay, I'm painting the underside. Da 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 da. Painting the underside. Okay. Okay, totally. And then, then, then do I massage it? Oh, I'm so glad. Pink hair makes the boys wink. <laughs> I don't know. At my age, I don't know if I want boys to wink at me anymore. It's always fun, right? As long as it makes my husband wink. Okay, I'm just gonna do it like this. All right. Da, da, da. Okay, okay, okay. Bro, he is hilarious and he's amazing. I left the begging word for global. I have no idea what that means, but cool. Okay, am I supposed to like crunch it up at all, guys? I feel like I'm missing some hairs. Like it just doesn't feel like it's complete. I'm gonna massage. No massage. No, no. Massage? No, no. No, no, massage it in. Is that no, no, don't massage it in or no, no, yes, massage it in? I should rename this video as like, massage, okay. Uh, I should rename this video as, vi uh, t uh, uh, live stream learning how to do hair or something along those lines. Okay, what am I saying for KPMG Ottawa? I still don't know what that is. Okay, 
All right, how's that? Is that enough? And then do I aluminum foil it now? I, need, I feel like I don't have enough on the ends, but I'm always like this person that like always worries I didn't do enough and then I overdo it. Oh, and then Miranda, are you still making those, um, those, those, what are they called? The resin things? I still have to call you up for that stuff. I haven't had the chance yet. But I think we're actually, we still live pretty close together. Okay, I think that's good. You put more? More? Serious? Okay. Lay it in there, Jess. Okay. Do, do, do. I was watching this other YouTuber. Her name is called Hope Scopes. She, she's really cute. I don't know if you guys watch her. She's, she's really cute uh, on the ends. Okay, so I'll do more on the ends. Um, and uh, where was I going with this? Oh, she was, because oh, I was think, just thinking about bleach. And she did this super cute DIY bleaching of her clothes, like DIY tie-dye bleach. It was super cute. Okay, does this look saturated enough, my friends? All right, so now what they showed was take some aluminum foil, wrap it and scrunch it up. Would you guys recommend that? Sure. Foil it, okay. Never done this before either. So, <laughs> this piece of foil too big. <laughs> I feel so ridiculous. All right, like this. Uh, Lock it in, lock and load. Ooh, getting Fridays off sounds like fun. I love how you guys are chatting. That's super awesome. Because I'm not exactly exciting right now. Okay, okay. Ah, don't get on my eyes. Oh shit, ooh, oh sorry, I mean beep. Okay, didn't get on my eyes. Okay, now what do I do? Summer splash. Okay. Will that stay? Nope. I don't think I did a good job there. I really don't think I did a good job. I think it's going to come apart. So I need the clamp. All right, guys. We're alerted. This is awkward. Anyone who's just coming on, I don't know what I'm doing. Just FYI. Yeah. I was too cheap to go out and buy stuff. I committed, though. I mean, I totally wore, um, wore my contact lenses today, too. Saran wrap? Ooh, would saran wrap work? I have saran wrap. You know what? I, I, yeah. And I use a lot of toilet paper, guys. True Asian here. Okay. There. I should be fine. Okay. Next piece. Oh, my gosh. Nelson might be right. This might take me two hours. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. One more time. Don't know what I'm doing. Fine. Here we go now. Okie dokie. So how is every, oh, I think I might have gotten some tip on there, but that's okay. It'll just be, I will not, you know what? When I finally go back to my hairstylist, he's going to be like, what the beep did you do to your hair, Jess? And I'll be like, hee hee hee, I experimented. Well, I was reading that you could do, some people were, did, did this in clamps, and then what they ended up doing was they um, just put a shower cap on after they duck build it we should ask brad oh my gosh would he would he would he jess do you often dye your hair okay okay all right we got this hey i think i'm getting a little bit more confident with it maybe we'll see i'm gonna need more stuff Da, 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 da. Okay, how yo is it? It's not the smoothest application, but let's massage it in. Oh, did I miss? I totally missed a piece. Oy vey. How do they make this look so easy at the salons? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I could totally figure this out. Yeah. Well, mind you, they also go to school for it. They probably test on people. Well, test on mannequins first, not people first. Yeah, Jess. Practice makes perfect. Yes. You know, if this works, I want to do it on Ginevra because she loves pink. 
Love, 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 love pink. Mm -hmm. Oh, your cousin's a hairstylist. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay, so I think this is massaged in. And I'm going to have to replenish the thing. All right, so now. Does it matter if it's like somewhat... space buns I think okay <laughs> I'm gonna look like I have a rash on my forehead tomorrow I don't think I went long uh, low enough with the Vaseline <laughs> oh this is hilarious okay um adding more into my bowl now I am totally I'm so glad I plastic wrapped my desk okay so Next, we are going to try this piece here. Yes, yeah, we're gonna try this piece here, and then we do this piece, and then we it says to wait for 30 minutes. So here we go, let's keep doing this. And then, <laughs> you guys just see what I just totally did. <laughs> Good call on telling me to pass leave my ears. Oh, micellar. Okay, the micellar water. Sounds like a plan. Kristen, hello! Welcome to tonight's live stream. Get a towel with warm water and so remove the dye on my skin. Okay, I can do that. Using my phone as a mirror, it's like uh, the, the whatchamacallit. I'm finding that the, the depth perception is a little bit off, which is weird, but I think I've just gotten used to it when I'm doing my makeup. But... <laughs> But even actually, you know what? That's, that's a bit of a lie. Because even when I do my makeup, I actually use my other one sometimes too. Um, my my compact. Pink ears. I know it's going to be a high list. Last thing of the years. Great. Idea. How are you? Welcome to tonight's live stream. So happy you're here. I am happy. I'm just super duper concentrating because I, 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 I'm a little smidgy stressed out. <laughs> oh yes if you do it make sure you do tag me on instagram or facebook or whatever because i'd love to see and what color would you choose to use oh yeah okay okay conditioner around the hairline thank you yeah i did vaseline well i did a, a, a non-vaseline brand of vaseline <laughs> i did basically my son's leftover but petroleum jelly, because we started using something else on them. I definitely made these way too big. Yeah, oh, no problem. Thank you so much for coming on, Miranda. I'll have a post up tomorrow with the final results of how it worked out. Okay. That kind of work, kind of. Sure, there. Well, that's gonna stick out a little bit. Yeah, well, you're gonna find out tonight how it's how it is on dark hair because as one of my friends said <laughs> on instagram when she dm'd me she's like thanks for being the guinea pig jess i'm like it's my pleasure my pleasure but i love trying products guys it's like one of those things i just absolutely love doing because it's just so much fun and then the results and then just learning about it learning about products learning about ingredients and all that stuff it's just it, to me it's like one of the best parts of my job, um, besides, of course, talking to you guys and having lots of fun with you. And um, yeah, so I just really, really love trying new things. And it gets me, you know, gets me out of my comfort zone like this. Oh my gosh, yes, dreamy lilac hair be gorgeous. Or like, just like the, what's it called? The, the ombre into like dark into the light. Oh my gosh, that'd be so gorgeous. One day, one day, one day. But again, Hedgie, will, Hedgie says she'll spank me if I ever bleach my hair. I gotta stand up a little bit. I feel like I'm making more of a mess with these back pieces than anything. So yeah, Kelly, you're right. If I would have gotten another mirror, it probably would have been helpful. Lilac hair style. Yeah, I agree. Lilac, lilac and silver hair. Yeah. Of course you can, Miranda. You can rock anything, girl. 
absolutely anything. Hi, Tammy. Thanks for coming on tonight. Wow, I'm so happy we have so many beauties in here tonight. Okay. All right. This is the last piece. Stay. Okay. So, question now. Will I need these gloves for afterwards? Should I redo this piece? I feel like I need to redo this part. Because, like, it's going to stuck out. Is that is that safe? Or should I redo it? And stick it back in the foil. Help me. No one's saying anything. <laughs> my head, my whole head smells like Jolly Ranchers right now though, guys. It's quite pleasant. Makes me want candy. But I'm into my fasting, fasting time right now, so I can't eat candy. But I might make an exception because this is actually a lot of hard work. Okay, you know what? Oh, da, da, da. Ow. I'm pulling my hair. Put another smaller, okay, that's a good idea. Okay, I'm just going to then do this a little bit because I feel like I pulled some of it off. Thanks, Pam. Rewrap that session. Oh my God, I, I, yeah, that's the thing. I feel like I kind of brushed some of it off. Like how, how saturated do I need it to be? You know what, this will probably be the most uneven dye job. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I think I'm going to undo and redo. This one piece. Aya. Aya. <laughs> okay. Okay. Stick the stragglers in a piece of foil. Yes, I'm going to stick. Hi! Is it M, right? I'm going to just redo this one piece and refoil it because I feel like I didn't do a sufficient job on this one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. What would I do without you guys? Seriously. I would not be able to do this without you guys. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for all the love so far, guys. I'm getting a lot of thumbs up. It's patchy. <laughs> yes, absolutely. We will rock whatever trend it is. Uh, new aluminum foil. Sorry, aluminum foil box. This will now be forever my in-studio aluminum foil box because it literally looks like I killed something on it. Thank you. I love all of your support. I really appreciate it. Okay. So now try folding the, f folding the flat. Like that. Oh, oh, is that better? Okay, let's try that. Okay, according it up. Okay, well, kind of. There. Take a triangle section on top of your hair, color it, and then cascade down the rest of your hair. Okay, sure. I think oh, I heard a pop. Popping is bad. Oh, I still have one more clamp here. Okay, so I can use the last clamp. Let's clamp this up. And then I can take off my glove and then I can finally properly read all the messages, guys, because they're disappearing really quick and I can't see them. Okay, this is what my hands look like. This is what the bowl looks like. I feel like I should have done more. It's a little addictive. Because <laughs> I'm like, ooh, what else can I do? I should just do this part, yeah. Okay, anyways, we're going to take this off. Um, Will I be needing the gloves anymore? Because if not, they're going to go in the garbage. Oh! Like when I take it out? Oh my gosh, look at that amount of sweat. I don't even think I can get my hands back in there, to be honest with you. Oh my goodness, I never realized how sweaty hairdresser's hands must get and stylist's hands. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I think these are gonna have to go. Keep the gloves. Okay. Keep the gloves for a bit longer. All right. We will try to salvage the gloves. Ooh. Ooh. Or my hands will be, oh, I suppose. Goodness me, I should have done more, a little bit more research. Actually, no, you know what? Sometimes I was like debating how much research I should actually do. It's 9.52, so it says at least 30 minutes. Um, I was trying to figure out how much research I should actually do for this. I was like, but part of the fun is really just kind of like learning along the way, <laughs> right? Yeah, all right, so let's hang out for a bit. So how's everyone doing? Care um, last after is open. I have no idea. Like the friend that was telling me that she uses this product, she says she uses it once every, um, 
four to six weeks as a touch-up for her current hair color and she really really loves it um i was watching some other youtube videos too and like this was this one person who had also had dark hair and she has like really long dark hair she used about half a bottle for one quadrant of her hair here Ooh, hello bra um like on this section here if I do the triangle top, it really looks pretty. I've done it to mine, covered in foil, process and blends beauty for the rest of your hair. Do you have a picture that you could sh like share with me or tag me on either Instagram or Facebook on? Because I can't really picture, I'm really bad at doing hair. Like guys, I can't even tell you how bad I am doing hair. Like so bad. So I, I can't even picture what you really mean unless you mean like that from here to here, that triangle foil it and then do the rest. I don't know. I want to look at that technique, but thanks M. Really, I, 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 I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right because it's E-M. I don't know if it's M or E-M, but um, 12 months symbol the bottom of the bottle, so it's good for a year once it's open. You are absolutely right. Pam is absolutely right there. See? So once you see that it's open, uh, a lot of the belief stuff also has the same thing. It'll tell you exactly how long the product will last for. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate that too. Yeah, guys, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. So, uh, what was, oh yes. So the drinking thing, when, when, uh, Miranda was talking about, um, a shot of tequila. So last Friday was, uh, awkward, awkward moments day. So I had a bunch of awkward moments I was going to share with you guys, but then it was also ended up being the day that my order came. So I figured I would just do an unboxing and I'd be sitting here for a good 30 minutes today anyway. So I figured let's share some awkward stories now. So, um, yeah, awkward story. So <laughs> let's talk about the drinking one first. I don't know if I shared it with you guys. So this tonight's going to be a little bit of a story time. Uh, Nelson and I, we were still dating at that time. He got a job at his old company, Oh, Erica. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, Erica. Wait, Erica, that talk that chats with me on Facebook, Erica. Hi. <laughs> if it is hi, and if not, still hi. Um, so it was Nelson's first first year at this company, and they had this holiday, uh, like holiday gathering. And um, I forget how much of a lightweight I am. So I had half a bottle of Smirnoff, and I end up passing out on the couch. I remembered everything turned like a sepia yellow and I just ended up passing out on the couch. He never took me to another one again. <laughs> He's like, oh, it's internal only this year, babe. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's that. But uh, I have some awkward Avon stories. If you guys like to hear them, let me know. I have some really interesting ones from old clients I now no longer have. Uh, used to be hairdressers in the 80s and 90s. Very, very nice. Very cool. Very cool. What was the, um, what was your favorite type of hairstyle to do out of curiosity, Erica? Um, so yeah, uh, so <laughs> one of the cutest clients I ever, ever, ever encountered, <laughs> one of the cutest, um, cut clients I ever encountered was during an Avon on location and we called them AOLs and Avon locations basically we set up a table we have people we you know like have some things up we have products out and um you know we try to either generate sales find new clients or we recruit for new beauty bosses and so this this old Spanish gentleman oh so cute this kid's so soft I love it um and he was, he came to, and it was like a, a lower income area. So I knew that would bring a lot of deodorants, um, you know, and just things that I know that would sell in the, that area because that is what those clients, clients buy that I have in that area. So anyways, I had a bunch of deodorants out and he wanted to bargain with me. I had them on sale for a dollar each. Okay. Cause back then they were, I think 79 cents. So after you work in sales taxes and stuff, it would be like around a dollar or so. And so I had them on, on, on labeled for a dollar each. Cause we don't add on any other additional tax at, at the AOL tables. At least I don't, because it's just easier. So <laughs> he came up to me and he was like, Oh, well I can buy them cheaper when I go downtown, I'm like, okay, that's great. He's like, so can you give me a deal? I'm like, well, sorry, sir. They are a dollar each, which is a really, really great price. Um, they're already, you know, it's already a really special promotion. So unfortunately, no, because I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't deal well with people who 
barter. Um, if I end up giving you a gift or something, that's by my own choice. But you wouldn't walk into, let's say, Sobeys as like, I don't like the price of this broccoli. Give me the broccoli for a cheaper price, right? It's a business. So that's that. So I was like, unfortunately, no, sir, I can't do that. And he was like, no, well, you know, I'm not going to buy it if you don't give me a better price than a dollar each. I'm like, well, you know, unfortunately I can. So hopefully you you find someone who's willing to give it to you at whatever price that you want and have a great day. So he walks away and then he comes back like probably five minutes later. He's like, listen, I really need deodorants. Can you give me a better price? I'm like, sir, they are a dollar each, which is a very fair price. So unfortunately, no, I cannot give you an additional discount on top of this. And so he thinks about it for a second. He's like, okay, I make you a deal. I'm like, all right, let's hear it out. I mean, it was a little bit quieter anyway. So I was like, I was like, okay, all right, what do you got? He's like, I will take two. And I was expecting to say two for $1.50. He's like, I will take two for $2. I was like, sir, can you repeat that please? He's like, I'll take two for $2. I was like, but sir, that's the same thing as a dollar each. He's like, no, I don't want them a dollar each. I want two for $2. <laughs> So I was like, all right, but you realize that two for two dollars is the same as one for one dollar, right? I don't even know why at this point I was arguing with him, but that's another problem that I have. I like to be correct. <laughs> yes, two for two dollars. And and I was like, okay, fine, sure. I'll give them to you two for dollars. You know what? Because you're such a sweet man, I'll even do three for three dollars. And he was so happy. It was the cutest thing in the world. It was so, so happy. <laughs> yeah, her dollar each. But no, when I said a dollar each, he was adamant that it was overpriced. But two for two dollars was a really great price. Or even when I said three for three dollars, he was just so happy. So he bought three, went on his way, and I that story still sticks with me because he was just he was just so cute. <laughs> so that's one story. And then another story. Oh my goodness, I meet I've met so many interesting characters over the last. 15, 15 and a half years I've been with Amon. Um, 10 for $10 a year supply. Yeah, I I, I, <laughs> I should have done that. That would have been so much better. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, I've met some really dramatic individuals during my time with Avon and um, I have two stories. One, I was so green. This was within my first year of selling Avon. I was living on my grandparents' place um, because uh, my story is that, went, well not my story, but my truth is that I started selling Avon because my grandpa was really ill and we needed some extra income to help pay for, like just offset the cost of his healthcare. Government pays for part of his PSW and things like that, but we also needed extra and I wanted just to like help out with what I can. So that's why I started Avon. And um, oh my gosh, we really could. That would be such a fun book. It, the Chronicles of Avon Ladies. <laughs> And I'm sure in each region, it would be very, very different. Or in each country, it would also be really, really different, have really different experiences. And that would actually be really interesting. Have you guys ever read the the, the book series, um, A View From The Top? They, um, it's, it's uh, a collection of leadership stories from Avon mentors and Avon leaders that um, actually my mentor, Feeney, she has a chapter in it too and it's actually really inspiring the stories that you read and, and the things that you hear people go through and what they have you know overcome to be where they are so yes a collective book about fun avon ladies would be fun. actually there's a book online called don't shoot i'm just the avon lady i think that's what it's called it's by birdie somebody she used to be an avon rep i don't know if she is anymore but it's hilarious some of the excerpts so actually no i just thought of in the third one and the third one is actually kind of scary. Anyways, first, first one. Anyways, I was, I was very green living at my grandparents' house. I did some um, book drops door to door. And at that point, I wasn't comfortable ringing doorbells yet. I can ring doorbells now. I just choose not to, guys. Just it's not my favorite way to to canvas. But um, anyways, I did book drops. There was this lady who I don't know if she moved to Canada not that long ago, but she bought for me one time. And then closer to the holidays, she bought a bigger order. <laughs> this scenario made me cry because I didn't have thick enough skin yet. So anyways, with her second order, I remember her order was like around $150. She had purchased some of the NHL ornaments. Lisa, you remember these, the NHL ornaments um, that, that um, your son likes. Um, and so she bought like the entire collection. And then when she got her bill, 
she saw that there was sales tax and she was arguing with me about it. And she's like, no, there's no sales tax. There's no sales tax. I'm like, yes, the government charges me tax. So therefore I have to charge you the tax on your products because when you go into a store, you pay tax. And so therefore, when you're purchasing from a representative, you also pay tax. Anyways, long story short, it was really awkward. Um, she ended up taking the order. She's like, oh, I'm never ordering from you again. I'm like, that's fine, no problem. Have a great day, have a nice life. Um, and that was already enough for me to make me a little sad because again, I didn't have very thick skin back then. Uh, but then she calls me like the next day and she says, you need to come back, pay me, give me back all my money, including the tax, and I'm giving you everything back because you are a thief. I was like, whoa, to be accused of a thief, that's pretty, pretty severe, right? Pretty strong. So I was like, that's fine, no problem. I don't want to deal with her anyways anymore. So I went to her house and oh my gosh, so I gave her the money and she like threw the order back at me. And I was like, oh my gosh, that almost, almost, almost made me not do canvassing anymore. But I also know that I'm never going to ever give anybody the power to make decisions for me based on their perception of me, right? So um, any good door-to-door -door stories? Oh, there's tons too. Um, <laughs> the last time I went door-to-door, -door, um, I don't know if this is good or bad, I don't know what pissed in her coffee, to be honest with you, but anyways, I never went back to her. Um, but then I got to meet you, Lisa, a couple years later. Uh, and you're one of my favorite clients, and and not just clients, but friends, right? I mean, we, we talk more than just Avon, which is always lovely. And that's another great thing about this business, guys, is that we get to meet so many amazing people, you know, like, like for even on this community here we have avon reps from all across the globe which is so fun and also not avon reps but avon lovers and avon fans or just people who are just a little bit curious about avon or just curious about certain products like Dick fox that's getting really bright on my head um so anyways what was i going with this uh yes the last time i went door to door ringing doorbells to drop off brochures and to introduce myself as an avon lady in an area that's north of me um a really nice area and overall everyone's really really nice and really receptive most people are actually just they're just very pleasant the <laughs> this was so awkward i didn't know where to look because when i <laughs> rang the doorbell this man came and opened the door and he was butt naked completely naked like nothing on and I was like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> and he's like, can I help you? And I'm like, um, I'm just the Avon lady. I'm here to drop off a brochure here. Have a great day. Bye. And I just ran away. <laughs> That's one of my favorite, favorite stories. Apparently some people do for the shock and awe. They, they open the door naked for the shock and awe aspect of it so that they, they <laughs> keep door to door canvassers away. <laughs> <laughs> which is fine hey people do what they do and it takes all kinds of make this world go around so that was that was another really funny story um another wait when you're asking me about a good door-to-door -door story are good as in a good outcome like great success or good as in like good awkward like that one because <laughs> that is probably my one of my most memorable and awkward moments ever because honestly you wouldn't have left one? Oh, no, but I mean, it kind of covered areas because it's like, where's the book? I don't even have it. Pretend it's a book. I'm like, here, a book. I'm like, just don't look down. Don't look down. And it wasn't even like he was like, I don't know. I could say some things, but I'm not going to say it because it would be inappropriate. But it's, it kind of like blocked the view of some parts natural naturalists they do i actually have a, a girlfriend whose dad lived on a nudist resort um and i guess so yeah maybe he, they're just a nudist family which is perfectly fine i just wasn't expecting it in a non-nudist area but i guess it, 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 there's nothing wrong with it too i mean i was also a lot younger back then it was before i had ginevra i don't think i was even married yet so it was at least i want to say at least 11 years ago I think I was engaged. Yeah. So it was a long time ago. But that was definitely probably one of the top three most awkward moments ever. Um, yeah. Yeah. Good ones. Let's see. Good outcomes. Uh, yeah, there's 
tons. I mean, I've met, I, the thing is, I didn't, never did a lot of door to door um, because it wasn't my favorite thing. Pass her order. She was all buck naked to try on her new clothes. Oh my gosh. That is so cute and awkward at the same time. I love it. I had a lady who, who because she didn't have um, one of the items that she really wanted, she ran into her bedroom and threw herself very dramatically on the bed. It's like, why me? Why this life? Why me? I really wanted those shoes. <laughs> so yeah, but naked though, I, I can't even imagine. Oh, the things, the things we do. It's it's so funny. It's so funny. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, I bet actually, well, I do, I do a lot of like, um, lifestyle marketing, like lifestyle process, like, pro pro processing, lifestyle prospecting, where when I'm out and about, I give brochures or I talk to people. And, um, that's actually how I met Lisa. I, I was too scared to talk to her sister. And I dropped it off in front on a bench inside of a mall, right? In front of a, it was like one of those uh, cash exchange, no, the, what is it, currency exchange booths. And that's how I met her. Uh, and that's how I met Lisa. Gosh, Lisa, how many years ago was that? Francesca was, I think, I was scared to talk to her. I was scared to talk to anybody. I was super green back then, like super duper duper noob and everything. The first time I went prospecting on my own, guys, I had a bag of about 40 brochures and they was heavy. And every person I went to said no to me because I was, I, I looked like I was seriously trying to sell drugs because like, excuse me, do you want an Avon brochure? I, look, I was like so sketchy about it because I was just so nervous to talk to people so yeah it was nothing against rose rose is an absolute sweetheart i was just scared to talk to absolutely anybody um after after that time i went to scarborough town center and wasn't able to get one yes i think no that's a lie i did get end up getting one person who took the book never ordered for me which is fine but she took the book and i think it's because she um she felt sorry for me <laughs> which again is fine um a good one is oh i met I met an, an elderly lady. I love, I love seniors. I love senior citizens. I met an elderly lady who loves, love, 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 love Avon. And she orders from me like very, very sporadically, um, maybe about once a year or so. And yes, exactly. Right near her work. Um, and, uh, she took the book and she's just like, this makes me, makes her so happy because she lost her Avon lady. She didn't know how to go online to look for another one. She's been waiting for a brochure because she wanted, she needed her skin so soft. So she ended up ordering skin so soft. Her daughter ordered Kachina. They ended up putting it in like a $300 order. So that's a really good story. Yes. Um, I used to go door to door with my direct sales manager, district sales manager. That's what they used to be called. And, um, and Claudia. I don't know if anybody here knows Claudia, Claudia Bohorquez. Uh, she's no longer with the company, but um, she was a pillar. Like she was, she set me up for Avon so much when I first started out. I learned a lot from her. A lot has changed now with how the company works. So a lot of stuff isn't relevant, but she taught me how to get out of my shell. Um, but I remember I used to do a lot of door to door with her around, um, you know, Jane and Finch area, which is where I met that that older gentleman who wanted the the, the rollouts for two for two. And um, let me think, if there, were there any really good stories about that? Oh, there was one lady that we ended up uh, signing on and she stayed with the company for, I think, about a year. And I, I still remember her saying to me that, um, She's just so excited that she doesn't need to worry about how she's going to pay for her children's milk anymore because she was getting orders. She was getting orders. She had she had team members and stuff. And that was actually a really, really um, it's a, one of those moments that really sticks in your head because, yeah, we're selling lipstick, li lipstick, hair dye, makeup. But to some people, it's so much more. Like to me, it's a lot more than just selling a lipstick, right? The, the significance of it is is much bigger, and you know, it it does a lot more than you know the the superficial idea of just selling a lipstick. So yeah, for her, like it worked out so well because 
she was able to afford to buy more food for her children, right? Until she got another job. And then, she, you know, she got too busy to let her Avon go, which is perfectly fine because that's the beauty of this business is that you can do it for as long as you need to do it. It could be either a bridge from one thing to another, or it could be something you could do in parallel with something else, or it could be something that can completely change your life. Like for me, it completely changed my life. And that's why I love it. I, I'm so, I love this company so much. I'm very loyal to this company. Yeah. Oh God. Yes. Completely beyond beauty. Completely beyond beauty. So much more than beauty. Like, gosh, guys, when, when, when I first started this, I couldn't, I couldn't talk to anybody. I, I, if I was in studio, I was fine. I'm loud. I'm, I'm really, you know, goofy. I'm very much like this. But when I first started Avon, I could not talk to another adult unless it was about dance or children. That was it. I, I just didn't have that confidence. I didn't feel like I was articulate enough to talk to other people um, or I would have any knowledge to talk to people. Like this company has had really pushed me to go out of my comfort zone and get out of like get out of my shell. Um, like they've given me opportunities to speak at a national conference. Like that was a huge thing for me. I was like nervous beyond my mind, but and they gave me the confidence and encouragement to start, you know, throw myself on YouTube. Like that was really, 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 really like a huge step. Right. So, I mean, I think no matter where you are, if it's something that you're curious about, give it a try, because the worst thing could happen is that you just stop. Right. But you never know until you try it out to see whether or not it works. Yeah. Oh, I'm still shy, but I mean, I'm I'm shy in diff with different things. But thank you. Thank you. Your mother. Let's wait. Oops. Oops. There we go. Your mom started buying in the 70s. Yeah. Yeah. Avon has a lot of things now for sure. I mean, Mom, my mom was an actually my mom was an Avon lady twice. Uh, she, I, I just recently learned that my mom was an Avon lady back in the early, late seventies when my brother was a baby, and then she was an Avon lady again when probably the other late eighties or the early nineties when I was in dance because I remember she did a fundraiser for our studio and that was one of my first memories of Avon. Oh, guys, share with me with one of your first memories oh, with Avon. Um, I remember opening up, I remember the smell of Avon. That is like something that hits me all the time is the smell of Avon in my mom's boudoir. Is it called a boudoir? You know, like it's like the one that kind of opened like this is wood. It was so, yeah, my mom was an Avon lady. Very short period of time, mind you, though. Like she said like she did it for just a couple of months each time and then, you know, life happens. Um, but then I just remember it smelled like a mix of baby powder and sweet honesty and a little bit of musk. That is just, it was just, I could still smell it. If I close my eyes, I can still remember opening my mom's boudoir wardrobe, whatever it's called, and just having that scent come out and just, it's like a warm hug. It's just so beautiful. And the Avon Charmed um, fragrance reminded me of that right away. I was like, that smells like my childhood. I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, so it's just Avon's been part of my life for so long. And I remember my old dance studio used to use Avon uh, for comp. Um, we would do fundraisers with Avon. So it was really nice. Really nice. I actually found, I don't know where I put it right now because I reorganized my office. Oh yeah, guys, check this out. I have a new angle. We moved my, my space around. And those Avon mugs that I showed for the surprise haul thingy, they're up there now. Nelson put up my uh, the showing. They finally had time to do it. So I think it looks pretty nice. Yay! Okay. Avon, you never look so good. I love that. All right. So a few more minutes. And then I think about another 10 minutes or so, we're going to be able to take you into my bathroom and take these beauties out. Uh, did I get my Avon Charmed? I did not end up getting the Avon Charmed. Uh, the reason being is not because it's not lovely and I think that it, it's definitely worth it because it is a collector's item. For the people who don't know what Avon Charmed is, it's a collectible, uh, like a collector's item to celebrate the anniversary of Avon. Uh, and it has like, it's this like gold plated peacock on this beautiful pillar. And it's, um, it's like covered with, I could never say this word, Swarovski, Swarovski crystals. I can't say the word, but it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful decanter. And the scent is just absolutely lovely. Uh, I did not get one because uh, my mom has a scent 
scent allergy and I have a scent sensitivity. So a lot of times fragrances, certain fragrances, they do make me <laughs> sneeze uncontrollably or have an asthma attack. So I need to be careful uh, with certain scents. And I was just like, oh, I'm not going to really use it. I don't want to waste it by having it like just sitting on my shelf forever. I just, I just think that it would just have better use in someone else's home. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you guys have one, right? Jess, you have one and Tammy, you have one, right? It's so beautiful. Anyone else have it? The uh, the Avon Charm. So the Avon Charm, it was like, I think it was like $1,350 fragrance as part of the uh, our luxury line. Yeah. Mine are still in the box. So what, what of yours is still in the box, Tammy? Uh, Avon, you never look. I don't remember that TV ad jingle, to be honest with you, Lisa. I just remember, ding dong, Avon calling. Oh, the cups, the cups, the cups, the cups. Yeah, it's it's a strong fragrance for sure. And it's just like as much as it just kind of gives me that moment of nostalgia, I just, I couldn't justify not ever spraying something so beautiful, like, and so expensive, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just, it wouldn't, but imagine it there. It looked really nice, but I'd also be really paranoid of it falling off all the time because I have a very rambunctious two-year-old. He is so rambunctious, but he's so darn too and cute. Oh, I never knew that I would be I would love being a boy mama so much. I mean Geneva growing up I knew exactly all the activities I'll do with her. I had no idea what to do with my son because he's a boy. But well obviously my son's a boy. But uh, well not obviously but anyways oh my gosh politically ah! I just came way above my head. But um, yeah, there's so many fun things that we love doing together that I didn't think that we love doing together. Kristen, your mom was an awesome Avon lady. When came back into I remember the samples. Yes, perfume on a vial card, lip test. Oh my goodness, what was that? Uh, the Opal one? My mom used to constantly buy those. Oh, nice. Oh, that's so, that's an amazing gift, Jess. Amazing gift. Um, One of the other, other, products I always will remember is get so soft as a bug garden because I lived in the countryside by the water but across from the woods and farms um and so that and then also the tranquil moments in a heart shaped um bubble bath decanter that was one of my favorite things I remember I'm going to have a bubble bath <laughs> I would make myself a bubble bath and then I want to be all fancy schmancy so I'd bring fruit a little plate of fruit and I have a book and like juice and all that stuff because I it was you know it was my Avon bubble bubble bath time yeah my <laughs> my kiddos I love my kiddos they're little monkeys but I love them all right guys what do you guys think should I see what has happened now do you think it's time it's been about 30 minutes. So the jar, the, 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 the bottle did say leave it in for at least 30 minutes. One of the YouTubers that I watched, she left it in for five hours. We're not doing that tonight. We're not going to leave it in for five hours, but it's been about 30 minutes. So do you think we, sh we should try taking it off now? What are your thoughts? My head is definitely stained. Remove the foil. All right, let's do this. I'm assuming that the gloves need to come back on. Oh, I am going... Yeah, she left. She's like, I say darker hair the longer time. Yeah, probably. I might do like some more tomorrow or on another day. But I don't want to keep you guys too long. I feel kind of bad. Um, what was it? The yeah, the one the one YouTuber. She left it in for five hours. She's like, she left it in until it got crusty and hard, and then she washed it off. So I was like, oh, that's a very long time. I don't think that you guys would want to do a five hour live stream with me. Can you, can you imagine? Okay, let's leave it on for what? Let's say another 10 minutes. I have something else I can show you. It Okay, so on hers, she did, apparently um, Arctic Fox also has a UV light one. That's so cool and super hot, but it didn't work on her hair at all. But when she shone, 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 shined, shone, I, I can't think of the correct word for it. The 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 black light on the bottle and her gloves. It was 
so amazing. 45 minutes. Okay, so yeah, we'll wait for another 15 minutes then. Uh, it was really cool because it, it glowed pink. It was super cool. Uh, on the bottom part of her hair, she said that it didn't pick up so well in the camera, but in person, she loved the royal blue color. She said that one turned out really, really nice and she would highly recommend it. Plus her hair feels really, really soft afterwards. So if that's the case, I might end up getting the purple one to do the rest of my, ow, to do the rest of my hair because it would just be kind of fun to do. Shaw the light. It's, it's, Shaw the light. Yeah, I don't, right? Yeah. I don't know. Shine, Sean. Anyways, she put the black light against her hair. Her hair didn't show up there, but when against the bottle, it, it was, it showed up. So it was really, really cool. Um, but yeah, so it, she said that on camera, you couldn't really see it, but in person, she could definitely see the blue. It's just like a really nice, rich, tint of it so especially in the sunlight you can really say illuminate thank you Jess perfect word gosh I I need to read more books to <laughs> work on my vocab again oh my gosh it's just I feel like I have like <laughs> Jody who is our business development manager for quite a few of the the, uh, the beauty bosses on the tonight's live stream um she recommends a lot of books and then I had a session with Michelle who is um she's the head of leadership she's Jody's boss and uh, she also recommended a poem and I think two other books for me to read. I have a lot of reading to do, but I just don't know when I'm going to find the time to do it. But that could also be an excuse. I just kind of have to do it, I think. Yes, just just do it, Jess. Just do it. And that's the other thing. Something I learned about myself the other day, guys, total disclosure. Um, whenever I say process, I wasn't realizing that when I was thinking about things and I said, you know what, I'm going to process that that idea let me process it and then I'll put it into action. That was actually my own personal permission for myself to procrastinate. So if I say process, guys, you have the permission, please, to call me out on it and say, Jess, are you really processing or are you procrastinating? Because probably I am just procrastinating and making myself an excuse to not do something because it doesn't feel good to do it. So I got to get things done this year. So reading more books is one of those things. I don't have to process reading a book. I just have to actually physically do it. See, that's exactly one of those things where processing doesn't work. I just put it off. Uh, oh, another question is, do I wash this and can I reuse it? Probably, right? I don't see why not. Because I don't want to be wasteful. I don't have to buy a new kit every time. I'm also cheap. I'm not cheap. I just, I don't like to spend money frivolously. And to throw one out every single time feels also not very environmentally friendly, but also very frivolous. Hmm. All right, so I do have something else to show you guys tonight. I came prepared. You're, yes, for you. Okay, so I have this to show you tonight. So this is all the freebs that I got from Studio 1886. I was going to do this on a separate video, but I will just do it now. Oh, when I wash it, do I wash it with shampoo? Frugal. Yes, definitely frugal. My husband's a huge deal. Um, deal seeker oh by the way totally not avon related whatsoever if you guys are looking for the optimum points toilet paper deal and your no frills is sold out they might be replacing um using the other royale 24 roll as a replacement you just gotta ask we are able to get toilet paper for 3.99 which is our incredible price right now totally not avon related whatsoever Environmentally cautious. Yes, very so. Very much so. Okay, so this is everything that I got. Free samples and more from my visit to Studio 1886. I know. <laughs> That's how my brain works. I really have to focus. I'm so random. I remember one time somebody asked me about ADHD. I might. <laughs> so, okay. So, um, Studio 1886, if you have gone... Oh my gosh, it's amazing. If you haven't gone, if you can, you're in the Point Claire area, do go. I plan on making another trip out to uh, Studio 1886 again, po possibly the summer, with two of our team members. Um, Beauty Unlimited is one of them. We're going to go again, create some more content, which will be super fun. But I want to share with you guys all the goodies that I got because I haven't even opened it yet. So here is a Kachina. Uh, sea salt and Amalfi lemon. Oh, anybody going to the sales meetings in your area? I've registered for mine, which is April 23rd, I think. Um, so yeah, this is the fruits of uh, the hand butter. The Kachina hand creams are really, really, really nice. 
as are the aloe hand creams. I tried the Senses one the other day, I think during a live stream, and that one's really nice as well. But I think I still prefer uh, the Kachina ones. I really like the Kachina ones. I actually have the bottles on my desk and on all of my desks. What is this? Oh, cool. This is the Issa Knox LX New Platinum Sculpting Oil Serum. I haven't tried that. Let me go know, guys. Let me know, guys. Let me know what you guys think of it. If I pull out anything that you're curious about, or if you want me to try, not tonight, on another night, let me know. Uh, this is the Belief True Serum Revitalizing Niacinamide Amino Acid Solution 10%. Big mouthful. Great product. Out of the two Belief Serums, I like this one more. I find that this one, it's just, it gives my skin um, that little boost of moisturization, but also it soothes irritation so remember how when i first got my glasses i kept getting that one irritation right here this cleared it up after a day or so it just gave it just it gave my skin some extra love and it took away the pain i was able to not have to stuff cotton pads underneath the nose piece for the longest time um i actually thought i was allergic to my nose piece for my glasses but it wasn't it's was just it was just irritated because it was just heavier but this is great i'm almost almost on the bottle it's just i've been using the um the Bacuchial items right now because of that two week, uh, the two week trial that I'm doing for the Dr. Belmere Eye and the Bacuchial face cream. That video will be out within a week or two. Um, and then also got so many goodies in here, guys. I got the Fruits and Passions Coriander and Olive Hand Soap. This is formulated with olive oil, so it's really good for your hands. Um, out of the Kachina sets, guys, what is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And then this is the Skin So Soft Bug Guard Deep free towelette and this is awesome i had a client one time order 11 packs of these like 11 packs of eight of these because she uses these on her dots now we can't as representatives say that yes you can use these on your pets but that's what she did and she bought 11 packs of these to go to the cottage because she said that it helped prevent the bugs from eating the dog. Yeah, eating, yeah, like eating her poor pup. Uh, the sanguine, oh, the, yeah, the orange one smells so nice. It has like a, that little bit of fennel in it too. So it's really just beautiful scent. And then the grapefruit rhubarb is my absolute favorite scent from the Kachina line. Hands down. Love that one. And I heard it's also an Avon exclusive, right? And then, oh, they have a honey one that I smelled at um, Studio 1886. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Can't remember the, I think it's like honey bamboo or bamboo honey or something like that. Oh my God, it smells so delicious. So nice, so light. Oh, I wish we had it in our brochures, but alas, we don't right now. Lime zest and cypress. Mmm, yum. You know the funny thing is, this is our top sell. This is my top selling one, the uh, coriander and olive tree. But full disclosure, it's not my favorite scent. I don't love this scent, to be honest with you. But so many people love it. I just don't know. I don't know. There's something about it. I think it's the. It's almost too herbaceous for me. Uh, this is the skin so soft comforting shade hand cream. This one to me smells like vanilla. I really like this one, even though I don't think there's vanilla. Yeah, it's it's the original one, but I don't know. Maybe that's why it's super duper popular. So I got the full size hand cream, and then I got the full. I got a strawberry lip balm. This product here is super nostalgic for me. I love the scent of this. I used this as a kid. Different packaging back then, of course. I think they were called lip savers back then, and oh, it's so good. Yeah, I find it really strong. Like I've used the water as a hand soap a few times, and it's nice. But again, I just, I don't love the scent of it. I think I just like the, the, the fruitiness of like the orange one or of the rhubarb. Even right now, and I think they discontinued this scent too. I'm using the, um, the verbena and yuzu. This one's is really nice too because it has a that, like, it's, it's kind of strong, but it has that nice citrusy scent to it too. <laughs> Stupid 18 -18. At the dead. Oh my god, that was the best autocorrect of the night. Oh, that made me laugh. <laughs> but yes, just so you guys know, um, when I was chatting with some people, they are considering opening up some more Studio 1886s across in major cities across Canada. Um, if the one in Montreal works out. Yeah, I know. I saw that. I have. I do. That's okay. That's okay. It'll be my decoration. Oh, I can make like little head of designs on my chest. <laughs> but yeah, they, they, they want to open more across Canada. We just got to make sure the one in Montreal is, is, is a success. 
Although I've also expressed my concern, well, it's kind of like hidden inside of studio, Avon Studio head office. So it's kind of hard to make it like as much of a success. It's, it's if we had it in like a major city, like even inside Montreal, inside the Eaton Center of Montreal, it just had a store there. That would make it a perfect thing. Yes, it does absolutely make a perfect girls getaway. It was so much fun fun and there's a really nice um what was it the comfort inn that we stayed at and there's a really great indian food restaurant right around the corner from there isn't there beauty unlimited we need to go back i'm still dreaming of that butter chicken uh then i got the belief uh true cream aqua bomb aloe i i used the entire container of this this is perfect for the summer i found it to be a little bit sticky when i first applied it but afterwards once it dries down it's amazing 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 then we got some more of the isanox alex new platinum i have the day cream here and then the night cream so hey i have like the whole regimen here which is pretty awesome um this one is the firm and sculpt i've used this a few times i don't really like the scent of this but i have clients who really really like it so again i have a weird nose but uh, yeah if you're looking for something to sculpt your neck and chest this might be good for you or the what is it I'm going to be testing this item out very soon as well. All right, hopefully that will help with my lines here that have now become more apparent because of constantly working at the computer. Uh, we have here the a new clinical resurfacing expert. This one, the Supreme. Lots of different samples, like tons and tons of samples. Oh, this the, you even got the eye cream here, which is kind of nice. And the Physio Gel. She never just finished her first bottle of the Physio Gel. I like it for the neck. The neck. Oh, the the purple, the platinum. That's awesome. Do you notice a, a big difference, Jess, with the product for your neck? Farmer X Super Greens Cooling Gel. This stuff is really nice. If you put a thicker layer on, it works out like a, like a mask. Um, and then the Super Greens Multivitamin Moisture Cream. This is also really, really nice. I use, I end up buying another container of this when I first run out of the trial size because I really, really liked it. Now I'm using the Farmer X Bacuccio for people who are just, uh, who are familiar with the Farmer X line. It is our most natural line. Um, and so some of the products are even up to like, I think it was like 96% natural or something along those lines. And the guys, again, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Bacuccio eye cream, this one's amazing. That's really nice. And Bacuccio, it is a, um, it's a, a plant, bait like plant-based alternative for uh retinol so if you're looking for retinol products but you're looking for something that's a little bit less irritating the is a really good alternative um this is the ultimate rejuvenating day cream some vitamin c products here this oh oh i didn't even know i had this this is the mission lux rev the essence the essence Oh, I have to try that. I've never used an essence before and I wanted to try an essence. Now I have samples for that. Um, I have the Power Serum. This was one of my very first serums I used with Avon. Amazing. You love the essence? I love the cream. So I'm, I'm going to assume I'm going to love the essence too. Uh, vitamin C primer. And then I got some of the boosters. Whoops. Which right now in this campaign, it's Tuesday, you guys, if you have a qualifying order, you can get a free booster, which is pretty exciting. I haven't tried the boosters yet. I got, I have all three. Oh, the Vaseline's making me itch. Uh, and then, hey, Lisa, is your favorite serum? The Dual Elixir. And then a few more items here, and then we are going to take this baby off. Believe Herbal Essence Small Ball and Kits is fabulous. I have it. I haven't opened it yet. It's on my to try list. Okay, and then we have the Mission Lux Red Serum. This was lovely. Rice Water Bright Foaming Cleanser, which is my second most popular video on my channel. I have, I think, like 35,000 views on that video, which is kind of crazy because um, it wasn't a very, it was it was a pretty poorly put together video. Uh, I was like breastfeeding in that video. Maybe that's why it was so popular. <laughs> the Belief the True Cream Aqua Bomb. I love the Belief line. Uh, the advanced hydro cream. I've been using this underneath my nose. I explained that in my two week reveal video. Um, you'll just have to watch and find out why. And then the primer, the Luminaria Prior and the Primer Fresh from VDL. Why can't we get this accessible to us reps? I think there are some of them that are, most of these are available, aren't they? I have no idea. 
I honestly have no idea. This just what Studio 1886 gave me the first time I went. I didn't get anything the second time I went, but the first time I did. Um, and then I got the True Serum Resurfacing PHA AHA 10%. Um, this one is nice. I think this one is for like pore reduction. I tried it for a while. I didn't notice a huge, huge difference. So again, I prefer the niacinamide. If you want, you can use both of these products. Just don't use them together. For the two belief serums, you can use like one a day and one a night. That's what Sam told us, who is our one of our beauty experts and our skincare experts. She is a esthetician. I can't say the word. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, Smooth Moves the from the Naked Proof. We have one. We have the Affirm Yourself, which I just bought for myself. And then I think I might have a stretch mark one here somewhere. But okay, and then we have the a new Hydrofusion Gel Cream. I've used the entire bottle of this one too. It has like raspberry antioxidants and it smells super fresh. It's a really nice scent. The Infinite Lift Targeting Contour Serum. I don't even know if we still have this product. Oh, the, uh, the yeah, I can't really say it was a dual eye lift system. This is really nice. Do one of my longest running eye creams that I used before I started playing with other skincare products. Use this one forever. I might go back to that one for a bit because I like to mix up my eye creams every now and then. The deep recovery cream um, from Skin Invincible. Do they have the other one? No, I don't have the other one. But um, this is the line, not with my hair, of course, but I used this line plus the power serve to get rid of a sunspot. I used to have a sunspot on my cheek right here. It was like very, very, very apparent. Uh, but I used this day lotion, so not the night cream, but I used the day lotion along with the power serum for about eight weeks. Got rid of that baby. I was so happy. <laughs> so happy. Uh, and then we have the AHA refining cream. And then a hand mask and a foot mask. And that was everything I got in the bag. Yay, I'm so glad I got this video done for you guys. <laughs> But yeah, lots of really good things. A lot of things I need to try. I have full size of certain of the products in there that I'm going to be reviewing eventually and testing out. But if there's anything that you want me to try first, let me know because I'm always open to suggestions. I do want to try the neck, the neck mask and the eye masks that are coming. But apparently that takes an hour. So that's going to be fun. All right. Are we ready to take these babies off? Yes. Okay. It has definitely been, it's been almost an hour now. So we're going to put the gloves back on. And what we're going to do is you guys going to go for a ride with me. Oh my gosh, this feels so gross right now. For everyone who's still on right now, oh my gosh, I love you guys super duper much. Not that anyone who had to leave, I don't love. I do love you too. But props to you guys for being on with me for over an hour. This is amazing. Okay, okay. The, the inside of the gloves is cold and sweaty. It's really gross. <laughs> but I shouldn't complain because it's my own sweat. I am sorry. Oh, oh. Am I still happy? Yes, I still love the spin and curl. I love the spin and curl. The spin and curl is the um, the chi one. I love it. Ginevra loves it too. Okay. All right. Are you ready for the big reveal? But yeah, I, I'm in love with the spin and curl because it really does curl your hair really easily. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. Um, but I also love the Conair Straightener, straightening hairbrush. Oh my gosh, guys, it is such a great product. And it does such a great job for the, the spin and curl. Jess, what's, what are your concerns over it? Like, what do you like and what do you not like about it? Okay, can I just rip it off? There we go. Okay, I'm glad I wore a black shirt. So one done. Glad I got a plastic bag ready. Second one. I'm gonna have to take off my gloves because my husband closed the door on me. So and I don't want to get pink hair dye on my doorknob. Okay, two. Okay, it's not bright pink. And that's okay because I wasn't expecting bright pink. I'm expecting hopefully just a little kiss of color. Three. And... Oh, your hair getting... Oh, I don't want to eat it either. Your hair getting stuck. Um, are you taking like really small chunks? Like, I mean, or like really big chunks? Okay, taking it off. Okay, so I have to go rinse. You guys can go to the bathroom with me. You can go see my, my kid's bathroom. All right, let's go for a run. Do, do, do. You can see the mess of my house. 
My nephew's coming over tomorrow. Okay, don't have anything on my hand. All right, so they say to rinse my hair until it comes clear. Um, I'm trying to put you somewhere that you're not gonna look at my butt. What's this one? Close my door. Oh, you didn't buy it. Oh, you're worried about your hair getting stuck. Oh, me too. But it does get stuck. Sorry guys, that's my cleavage. <laughs> it does get stuck for the spin and curl, but there's a release button and it's really easy to release. It doesn't hurt at all. Like, it's so good. And it's so easy to curl my hair and I have not burnt my face. All right, so I'm gonna rinse my hair. They say to rinse it until the water runs clear. And then I'll also show you whether or not it stains my tongue. All right, so back in my shower. <laughs> Oh, and I even have a pink hair towel, just in case. And they say use cooler water. It's cold. Oh, hey, oh, it's pink. So pink. So how do I know if my hair is porous? Keep chatting with each other, guys. Here's my tub. There's a little bit of pinkness there, but I heard that Clorox will get rid of it. All right, let's go back to the office. Or to the studio, whatever you want to call it. That is the mess of my bathroom. This is now the big reveal. I'm like, hey, but uh, good call on the Vaseline. I think I got most of it out. I'm gonna shower again too afterwards. To like scrub my eyes. All right. I am also very creepy. Give me 30 seconds. I did not make a mess on my floor, which I'm super grateful for. Super duper grateful for. All right. Are you ready? Hit the pink. Hit the pink. Oh, yeah? Arctic box. Yes. Oh, you. Oh, no. Bathroom's all white. Okay. It's probably just going to. Okay, yes. Who wants to go out? Yeah, I like that. Pink or not. All right, so. All right, so here we go. They say that I should blow dry it, but I don't want to blow dry it on camera because it's going to be super loud and annoying. All right, you ready? I have a pink scalp. <laughs> well, at least my scalp's pink. All right, so. Let's see. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys over here, actually. Maybe I should have rinsed it a little bit more. 
Okay, let's comb. <laughs> I think I got more on my scalp than anything. <laughs> Which is okay, because that is kind of what... Like, you want me to blow dry it now? I can, if you guys don't mind the noise. It might be really... Re okay, well, let's... Oh, 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 you kind of can. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go for, to my ring light here. I kept it yellow to make it look like a bit like the sun. Can you see? I'm losing it. It'll show up in the sun. All right, I'll blow dry. See that a little bit? Oh, there's a, it's a teeny tiny little bit. It'll probably show up a little bit better in the sun. More of it Sunday, I can definitely go. Okay, I will blow dry it. But anybody who doesn't want to hear the sound, mute me for now or come back in like five to six minutes. I even got a blow dryer ready. I was so prepared. I'm also really bad at blow drying my hair, so please don't judge me. Blow it up, blow it up. the purple no I need to get the purple or the blue it's really really subtle I think it's gonna show up more in the sun but look at that because like, you see from my lighting over here has a little bit more yellow light you can definitely see it more I like to do some more hair next time okay no problem beauty unlimited I will come over to your house and we'll do more of your hair next time <laughs> but look at that guys look at that look at that it worked it's so Super subtle, but it worked. How about underneath? I think underneath is not going to show up as well, which was what I was anticipating. Yeah, I can't see the underneath one at all because it was like this piece here. My hair, no, your hair. Y'all hair. I will share. Okay, let's come back over to here. Dum, 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 dum. It might be too bright. Changing my lighting intensity here. There. I, I need to do more hair. Fine. Oh, but look at Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's super, super subtle. I think, yeah, look at that. Oh, so it does work. And, so, and guys, my hair smells so yummy. 
No worries. No, I didn't use the entire bottle. I literally maybe just used, no worries, Kim, whatsoever. I used, may, it feels like I've used maybe just that much of the bottle. <laughs> My bottle needs to be cleaned. But I think I only used that much. I, I didn't use that much because I only did this chunk here, this chunk here, and two, two chunks at the back. But I don't see the ones at the back at all. Here. Look at I have strawberry kissed hair. How pretty. Ah! Oh my God, that's so exciting. That is super duper exciting. Look at that. It's just a little bit of kiss of color. I really, okay. Okay, you guys, what do you think? Should I get the blue or should I get the purple? I kind of really want to. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I want to get another one. I can see how the, look at, okay, when I do this, you can see even more. When I put it against my regular hair, look at that. Oh my gosh. And like I'm saying, my hair smells so yummy, yummy, yummy. Super yummy. And it's really soft. Like compared to the part of my hair I didn't do, this part is just like Geneva soft hair. This part, scraggly 40 year old hair. Nothing wrong with that, but it's definitely you can feel the difference in the texture of your hair. So it's super conditioning too. Wow, I'm happy with this. Cause yeah, I had no expectation that was gonna be like bright neon. Pink. Look at that. Look at that. Ah! I had no expectation that was gonna be like bright neon pink or anything. But that's exactly what I want. I just wanted that little kiss of color. Oh my goodness, happy dance. Yay, it worked. I just stepped on bubble wrap because I even put bubble wrap on my floor. <laughs> I put everything on my floor because I was worried I didn't have enough plastic. So I put a thing of bubble wrap on my floor to prevent spillage on my carpets because that would be no buenos. Okay, okay. Massage the rest of the pink tomorrow. Maybe, I don't know if I do my whole head in pink to be honest. But I might do a couple more streaks. I might get the purple. It is really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna have to style my hair tomorrow. It's way too late to do it now. But yeah, I think that if I left it in even longer, it'll show up even more. Now I wish I did a slightly bigger chunk. Fine, Beauty Unlimited, you're right, you're right. Don't hold me to the door. I should have done a little bit more hair. But I was a bit, I was a bit of a chicken. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, awesome, that is so fun. Thanks. I when I tuck my hair behind my ear, check that out. Oh, I am really happy. I you can tell how excited I am right now. I'm so excited. What? What? All right. So anyone else here going to venture off into the Arctic fox world? Yeah, I don't see the one underneath though. Uh, I think it needs like a lot of light illuminating it. You're always right. You're not sure. Yes, you are, Beauty Unlimited. You're always right. Uh, okay, yeah. So I don't see the underneath ones as much, so I'm really glad that I did the front piece. I'm really, really glad I did the front piece. And guys, yeah, tomorrow what I'll do is I'll do my makeup and my hair and all that stuff, and then I'll do a picture. Um, hopefully it's sunny tomorrow because I think it's supposed to storm. I don't know for sure. But if it's sunny, I'll definitely take some pictures out by the window. Oh, my gosh, i got to clean my ear. <laughs> Um, and show you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out tonight. If uh, there's anything that you guys ever want me to try, make sure you just leave a comment and I'll do my very best to make it happen. It was so fun. I'm so grateful that you guys were on with me tonight because you guys gave me the confidence to do it. You, <laughs> you kept me calm. You basically virtually held my hand the entire time. And that's exactly what I needed tonight because I was like, beep, I don't know what I'm doing. Beep, I need, I need some girlfriends. <laughs> So I'm really happy y'all were here with me tonight. Um, so yeah, we gotta do this again sometime. I'm thinking that um, what we should have a night where we all clean our makeup brushes. So we should set up in our bathrooms and do a hi Nadine. Uh, we should do a brushes cleaning night for our makeup brushes because gosh knows I need to clean my makeup brushes. So if you guys are interested in doing a brush cleaning event, Let's make that happen. I think that'll be fun. All right. So once again, I used tonight the Arctic Fox Virgin Hair on completely unbleached dark black hair. Well, dark brown, pretty much black hair. Um, and it worked. I mean, it's just a super light finish. 
but that's exactly what I was hoping for, that just to have a little kiss of color, to be honest with you. Yeah, I feel like I need to do like a bigger chunk. I might be doing more of this tomorrow. My nephew's coming, maybe I'll dye his hair too, if he'll let me. He has beautiful long hair, my nephew. So uh, have a wonderful evening, guys. Thanks so much once again. And if you have any questions, reach out. I'm always here to support. Have a wonderful evening. I had a blast with you guys and I love you guys so much. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to learn more about becoming your own beauty boss, jump over to Passions to Paycheck with Jessica Yick and have a gorgeous night, guys. Mwah! Love yous. Bye.